Hello everybody, welcome back to another video with Flim Reviews. Now today I'm super excited to share with you today's video. I'm currently still at MWC here in Barcelona and over the past few days I actually uploaded multiple videos on new smartphones but today's video is going to be a bit different because MWC is not just all about phones. Now this time around I'm actually going to head in and check out the Huawei booth because I heard that it's one of the largest booths that you can find at MWC. It's got a lot of new tech and we're going to talk a bit more about 5G, 5.5G even faster speeds. So let's head and find out what Huawei is actually showing today, today, this year, here at MWC 2023. And with that said, let's go in and check it out. Alright guys, so we've just reached the halls of MWC and check out what we have at the back, that is the Huawei booth. Now this booth is massive, it's super huge at the back, like an entire city and the team as you can see at the top, it says guide to the intelligent world. Now what does that mean to users, the average user like yourself and myself? Well let's head in and find out a little bit more. Alright, so right at the front here, you can see that we have the 5G business success at the back and I want to kick things off in today's video with all about what Huawei is doing in the 5G space. Now, as you can see, we have multiple different telcos from different countries. We have AIS, which is from Thailand. We have China Telecom from China and multiple different countries and all these telcos are saying one thing and that is 5G is now mainstream and everyone is using it. So how does 5G actually works for both you and me? Well, I saw a couple of interesting demos at the back. The first one is actually all about 3D video Video streaming. Now 3D video streaming is not actually new but what's new is that with Huawei's 5G network you can actually get faster download speeds and at the end of the day you will have a more seamless experience you'll be able to download even more graphic intensive kind of content directly from the internet. Now the second cool demo that I saw at the back here is all about that 5G calling. Now you might wonder to yourself, what does 5G calling really mean? Now I saw two really interesting things with 5G calls and the first one is actually using avatars to represent yourself in video calls. So you don't really need to have your own face showing to the other person. You can always use an avatar to replace your face. And the second one which I think is actually a game changer is the live translation service. Hello, where is the toilet? Instantly you can see the translation is already on the screen. So let's try something more complicated. Like, where can I find a big boss? It's happening right away. You can see here, the translation is actually very accurate. Now with 5G and a live translation service, everything is happening in real time. You will have faster, more instant responses to those translations. So whenever you make a call to a friend from a foreign country, and if you do not understand that language, you can actually have this 5G real time voice translation on the go. So that's very impressive. Alright guys, so we just finished talking a little bit about how 5G is helping the average user like yourself and myself in terms of those voice calling features. But actually, I think what's more important, the bigger picture here at this Huawei at MWC is all about how 5G is helping to transform digital operations. Now, when it comes to digital operations, you know, what comes to my mind here, I would think it's actually two main segments that I want to talk about. The first one is all about mining. Now, mining is actually a very dangerous activity and you guys know whenever an accident happens, it's going to be big. So let's talk about how 5G is transforming mining. And the second one that we will talk a bit more later is how 5G is transforming the operations of logistics. I think that's also a very fun one. So let's start off with the one with mining. You know, as you guys know, the mining industry actually has a very harsh environment. It's very dangerous and people, those who work there might actually risk their lives. So what Huawei is doing here with their 5G based network and stations, they are actually trying to create a more remote control kind of environment for everyone to work here even more safer. So you can just imagine this. Previously, there were like one person driving a truck or one person operating a machine. But this time around, with 5G, they can actually be in a remote control room where they can sit there comfortably and be safe and actually operate more objects. So more machines can be operated, more transportation or trucks can be operated as well. And again, with that lower latency 5G network, everything can be done very smoothly to increase efficiency reduce waste, reduce cost, and at the end of the day, have a more green and sustainable future. So pretty cool stuff there. Now, as you can see from the graph behind here, it all starts with the 5G remote drilling machine where it is used to drill and blast. Other than that, you have the 5G remote electric shovel that is also used for mining and loading. And then it moves to the truck transportation, which is also controlled remotely. The main keyword is all about how 5G is being used to remote control, not just the trucks, but also the machinery to reduce the risk factor in the mining industry. It's actually called the smart mining or intelligent mining thanks to Huawei's technology. Now let's move on and check out how Huawei is transforming the parts and logistic industry. Let's go on. 
All right, guys, so now that we've talked about how 5G is transforming the mining industry, we're here at our next booth, which is uh, under the port segment. And let's talk a bit about how 5G is transforming the digital operations at ports, warehouses, and of course, logistics. All right, so like what I mentioned just now, logistics such as ports and warehouses can also leverage on Huawei's 5G networks to create an intelligent logistics environment. Do you know that in Tianjin, Huawei has actually worked with one of the ports there to create a almost manless smart port that operates on its own and it's like it has its own brain. So to put it into simple terms, previously we had operators that sit on cranes, you know, high cranes up here to pick up and drop containers where it needs to be. But today with Huawei's 5G base stations and connected network, the operators need not be in such dangerous places, but rather they will be in a different office and they can actually remote control these cranes to pick and drop containers where they need to be. Now the fast 5G speeds ensures that there are no latency or delays when carrying the large containers and more importantly, it provides better accuracy in terms of where these containers need to be moved. Other than that, if you notice here, to transfer or transport containers around the larger surface area, the port makes use of an intelligent transport system where essentially the vehicles that move around can drive automatically and in an efficient manner. With high precision maps, Beidou navigation and full coverage of Huawei's 5G network, it can achieve advanced positioning based on road sensing. So long story short, with Huawei's 5G base station, essentially everything can be controlled remotely, no one needs to be at a dangerous high-risk position and it can work more efficiently, ultimately bringing us a more green world. Alright guys, so I've just explained to you a couple of use cases earlier on and that is actually all linked to how Huawei is guiding us to the intelligent world. Now, Huawei is actually working not just on 5G applications and solutions, but actually the next big thing is all about 5.5G and Huawei do actually have a demo that is at the back. Now you might think that 5.5G is just slightly better than 5G because of that 0.5, but that's where you might be wrong because 5.5G is actually up to 10 times faster download speeds than 5G, so it's a huge upgrade, a massive jump. But what kind of use case can you actually expect for these kind of large speeds? Well, there's a demo at the back, like I said, so let's head over there and check it out. By the way, my shirt might change to black because I recorded that yesterday. Let's go. All right guys, so we are currently here at one of the best, most fun booth at Huawei MWC and this is actually called 10 Giga World. Now the whole idea here is there is a lot of motion capture going on at the back. You might notice that there's a lot of cameras at the top and what the cameras are doing is that it's capturing all the movements of the two girls that you see at the back here and it's translating them into the virtual world. So this experience is actually very, very cool because you can see there's a lot of fun stuff that's going on and you can notice that their movements of their hands is actually equivalent to what they see on the screen. So it's a very immersive, very interactive experience and this is all thanks to that 5.5G from Huawei. Now, 5.5G is actually up to 10 times faster than 5G, so it's actually a way, way faster. And if you just put your eyes to the top right corner, you might see that the download speeds, the upload speeds, and the, even the latency, all that is actually very important because it's downloading a lot of content all in real time. So what kind of applications can you really use for this? Well, it's not just about fun and entertainment, but you can also imagine the future of virtual shopping. You can also do that with this kind of technology. In fact, you can also talk about education. There's just a lot of kind of use cases for this. But at the end of the day, it's all up to that 5.5G from Huawei to get those really fast speeds with minimal latency. All right, guys, so that pretty much wraps up a very quick look at what Huawei is showing at MWC 2023. So we've seen a lot of applications with 5G fast speeds. We also see the next big thing, which is 5.5G and the 10 gigabytes per second. But all this essentially leads us to the middle of the booth, which is all about getting green for the future. Now, Huawei is actually really focusing on actually creating a greener environment, a more sustainable environment for everyone out there. And as you can see with all these applications, the faster speeds, getting more efficiency and more work done within a shorter time frame, it actually results in a more greener environment. So that pretty much, like I said, wraps up our quick look at MWC 2023 with Huawei. Again, if you guys have any questions, you know, feel free to leave a comment down below. If you want to find out more about Huawei's applications and 5G use cases, I'll put a link down below as well so you can find out all about that. And thank you for watching today's video all the way to the end. Don't forget to drop a like and sub to the channel. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Stay safe, everybody. Bye.